Um, first of all, how's the injury? How's the body holding up? Yeah, good. Um, about a good what four or five weeks now of recovering and and uh, trying to build to get stronger. So everything's um, looking well and and ready to go, really. We spoke to Adam Jackson this time last week, and he spoke about uh, as being a more experienced player. It's kind of a case of of just knowing your body and knowing how far you can push it. Is that something that, that you can relate to as well? Yeah, definitely. I think um, for me, it's, this season's been a bit difficult. It's probably one of the first seasons in my career that I've had muscle injuries. But yeah, you get to a stage in, in your career and in your life, you start to understand your body, what you can do and push in yourself. Um, sometimes it's difficult because you always want to try and build and get fitter and stronger and you want to be out on the pitch as much as you can but sometimes you need to, to listen to your body and, and, and take the rest. Uh, and was that kind of the case when you came off against Hull because I, I don't think anybody sort of really saw you limping but um, obviously you would obviously signalled that, that you were struggling is that kind of a case of in point of that that you just knew it you couldn't really push it any further? Um, yeah well I knew straight away I, I, I was probably in the first two minutes of the game I pulled my car um, me being myself, I obviously didn't want to come off. Tried to run it off a little bit. Um, probably made it a little bit worse. But it was just a case of probably probably not being so selfish. I was trying to uh, signal to the bench to get someone ready. And I knew it was going to take at least 10 minutes. So I just, just howled on and, and just got through the last, well, for the, for the following 20 minutes. But, yeah, it was probably a few years ago. I probably would have played through it. Um, but yeah, I knew it was it was what it was, and yeah, for me it was. I didn't want to let the team down, and I knew by being on the pitch, I probably would have. So it was it was a case of getting myself off. Uh, how's it been, sort of the last week or so, having returned to training? Is it all okay, and you're sort of feeling fit and ready to start? Yeah, yeah, I feel really good. Um, the physio has been really good with me. Medical teams have uh, been brilliant in terms of the work they give me. Um, yeah, I'm just just dying to, to get back then and, and uh, hopefully get back to winning ways. You mentioned a second ago, it was kind of your, your first season really where you've picked up some muscle injuries. How frustrating has it been to have, to have picked them up at, at a crucial stage of the season where there are so many games? Yeah, it's, it, it, it's difficult to take in injuries always, but um, I think this season is just it's a bit of a crazy season. I think it's just a case of so many games in a short period of time. Um, just kind of catches up on you, but uh, I'm not one to, to dwell and feel sorry for myself. I know it is what it is, and um, it's just a case of managing it and, and trying to get over it. As an injured club captain, how much of a role do you still sort of play from the sidelines? Yeah, I'm still still around the lads every day, uh, match days on there, and just trying to give them that extra bit of experience and, and knowledge, really. But um, it is difficult, but we're in a kind of a sticky patch at the minute. But for me, it's just trying to keep the lads to a high standard and, uh, and push them to, to be as good as they can. Does that role as an injured club captain sort of differ from the manager's role? Or, or is it similar? What sort of the differences and similarities in, in the role that you might play when you're injured? No, I think with with the manager, he's, he, he brought me into the club to have He's, he's given me a lot of uh, responsibility in terms of being around the lads. A lot of managers wouldn't wouldn't give you as much responsibility. I think the gaffer wants me to just share my knowledge and and uh, and try help the lads as much as I can. Um, and that's what I true, uh, try to do daily. And um, I'm I'm here to make myself a better player and 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 make others around me just as good. I think Morgan Rogers last week called you the, the big brother of the, the playing group. Yeah, uh, obviously being the oldest player in the team, you know, I kind of took on that role. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm always happy to help the lads on and off the pitch. If they need me for any kind of advice off the pitch, um, I'm, I'm always there to, to help them. I mentioned this to Michael a few moments ago, but uh, is this the sort of time where you miss the fans the most when you're going through this sort of run? Yeah, it could do. You, I think over the last couple of weeks, the, the fans could have probably give you that extra bit of energy and motivation. But I think for me, it's, it's down to each individual. Um, I don't know if if being at the top of the league doesn't motivate you enough. I don't think you should be in this game. Um, 
for me, it's just a case of we've we've hit a rough patch. Um, it happens to every every club. Um, it's just how we deal with it and our mentality now to have the willingness to go on and uh, and progress. Gillingham coming to to the bank tomorrow night. What do you remember from the away game, and what did you do particularly well on that night? It was just uh, defensively strong. Um, they're a team that's going to test you physically. Um, they're not a team that's going to pass the ball around. They're going to load the ball into the box. That's what they're good at. Uh, it's just a case of having that willingness and aggression to, to stop the ball coming in um, and stick to our game plan and do what we do best. And what, what's got us so far now is, is being good with the ball and uh, being organised and, and, and wanting it more than the other, the other team. Is this the kind of game where you have to sort of do the dirty side well? Yeah, definitely. I think it, uh, every game is, is is like that. We we know we, the only way we're going to earn the right to to pass the ball around is if if we we fight and defend well. Um, the last couple of games we've we've come undone in terms of we're not probably been aggressive and not trying to keep the ball out of the net. Um, we know that uh, it's just a case of getting back to what we've been doing best and. Uh, and trying to put these last few games behind.